I'm like hardcore matching this candle I made last year and I love it. So hi, welcome back. It's me, Sarah Mins, and uh, I know every time I come back on this channel I have completely different hair and that's just my Gemini nature and I'm so sorry about it. Mm, no, I'm, I'm not. You're used to it by now. I just spent the last three or four months on the west coast of Canada learning, growing, thriving. I've missed you guys so much and I hope you had a spectacular holiday with your family and your friends, your loved ones. Um, I know I did and I'm actually in the midst of moving at the moment so um, I don't know if you can see this very well but my mom made me this amazing art storage bin. She handcrafted it with her own hands. And it's just a good place for me to store my paintings and my work. And she made it like two years ago. And I haven't gone through it or looked through it or organized it since. But because I am moving and organizing all of my things, I went through this shelf and I came across a bunch of old work that don't belong with me anymore. But I would love to give a new home with one of you. People are so sweet in contacting me about selling originals and whatnot, and a lot of my bigger pieces, especially the ones that I've been showing online on Instagram and stuff, um, are ones that I'm not quite ready to part with, and I would still like to kind of show in galleries or keep to myself a little bit longer. But I have lots of work that I've discovered. A lot of it's recent and a lot of it's older, um, but they don't have a home with me anymore, and it's something that I would like to share and give all of you an opportunity to have for yourself. Um, so I posted all of the paintings for sale online, and for the rest of 2019, which is like about a week, um, I'm gonna be having like an end of the year sale. will only be available until the end of 2019, so I suggest you hop on that. Um, I'm selling all these works for like much cheaper than I would um, other works, mostly because I think it's so important to make art accessible to people, and I know a lot of my audience is my age or younger, and I know, I know money is tight, like, my bank account is- <laughs> And I wish I could support my favorite artists, but I understand that at this age, especially as a student, this economy, this economy, I just, I- so I've tried to price them as accessible as possible and it doesn't entirely reflect my rates for commissions or um, other originals. So I think it's, it's a good opportunity to get an original painting if you would like one. And I tried to make it relatively in like what I would imagine my budget being. And honestly, the reason I'm selling most of these paintings is so I can make money to support other artists because I, I need art for my home. I want to support other young artists. So also, if you have a website or if you sell your work, please link it in the comments because I would love to check it out because, you know, with um, with any of the money that could be made off of these paintings, I would love to give it back to the art community, especially like young entrepreneurial artists. So I posted all of these paintings online, but I'll also go through each one here just to get you guys a little hungry for more. This one I made in May of 2019, um, this past summer, and it's just like a self-portrait. I was actually at the gym, and for some reason the lighting was making the shadows super blue, and so I took a picture, and it's pretty much a study of that. But this one was like a huge learning experience for my brush stroke, learning how to like implement colors in a more sophisticated way. So I love her. Here are some like NSFW uh, ink paintings that I made in, uh, I think the 12th grade or something, and I, I was just playing with inks and how to like give them this kind of runny effect. But anyways, I hope I don't get demonetized or like reported, but these are for sale as well. These ones I started two summers ago and then just finished this summer. They're just studies of uh, front yards uh, and gardens and stuff. Um, when I first moved downtown Toronto, I was really fascinated by being in a more residential area of the city where everyone's gardens were just so pretty, so I just ended up taking a bunch of pictures of that. Here's a sneaky little cat in the bushes. These are all based off of uh, iPhone pictures I took. It's my friend's backyard, or my friend's neighbor's backyard. I really like this one. It was very David Hockney. I did these like working up to a bigger painting that I made 
their uh, mixed media collages to paint and some IKEA catalog pictures. Um, so I have three. So I have three of those. I also have options on my website for you know, let's say for these two, you just want one and not both. You can you can buy one or you can buy them both. You know, um, for all of like the series ones, like including this, like you can buy one or you can buy all three. Then I have this one. It's a sad emo painting, but I really like the colors. And and then I also did some like acrylic pouring on the top. You can't really see it, but it's quite textural and it's actually goopy. But yeah, this is what happens when you break my heart. I just paint about it. And then this was also a study I did uh, over the summer. This is an oil paint. It's oil paint on a wood board. So this one is available as well. I think that's everything. So yeah, I just wanted to announce the fact that I am selling a lot of my originals um, because I know people have been asking about it or are curious. Um, so it's finally happening. And like I said, for the rest of 2019, there's going to be a big sale. So make sure you hop on that good pricing while you still can, okay? 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 <laughs> okay. I'm not getting rid of them because I hate them or I dislike them because they all were made for a reason in this bigger picture of like my learning process and getting me to where I am today. It sounds so cheesy, but it's like each one of these paintings was such a lesson and like a technical practice and like they're just all so valuable to me and they've helped build like my skill set and my creative self to continue making future works and for future ideas. So although they no longer serve a function being in my home and with me, um, they are still so valuable to me and I just want to share that with you guys. Also, if originals are out of your budget, which I totally understand, but you would like to support my work, I still have print. So I have the 8.5 by 11 size, um, which go for about 15 bucks, and then I have these larger prints of this one work. So these are available for a limited time, um, really good quality, larger print if you're interested. So um, please check out my website. It will be linked in the description. Also make sure to check out uh, my socials, my Instagram and whatnot, and make sure to stream my album on all music platforms offering by Solstice. It'll be linked as well. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for supporting me and your continuous curiosity about my originals and my work because I wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for your constant positivity, support, and encouragement. Like, like, it seriously, it means so much, so. So I hope you guys um, get yourselves an original. And uh, yeah, thank you for supporting me, and I love you very much. So at the moment, I'm only shipping out in North America. Although I know I have lovely, lovely followers from all over the world and that's what makes like being on the internet so special to me that I can like reach these other places that I've never even been. And I want to make my art accessible to anyone who would like it. And it's hard to pre-price that online because the price shifts depending on where you are in this international realm. So that's why on my website, I only have options for those two. However, I'm super open to working something out. Um, I'm gonna leave all my like my email and all of my contact information in the description. So if you would like one of these paintings, please email me and we'll figure something out because it's gonna be more of a customized pricing that's not really an available feature on this website I have. Um, so I'm not closing it off to just North America. So if you would like one of these paintings or if you're interested at all, please contact me, please email me and we'll get something sorted for you. So I've been sitting here all day doing online calculations of how much the shipping will cost. And it can be a lot, and I feel you, I hate paying for shipping, like, I hate it. And it's definitely a little pricey, especially to ship work, but I'm literally charging you guys exactly what it costs on this online calculation. So that's also why for international orders outside of North America, it's gonna be a little pricey, but we can definitely work something out, so email me. Email me sometime, we can talk about it.